Hello guys and welcome to another episode. Um, today I'm in my kitchen. It's rather nice isn't it? Um, I moved house uh, about a month ago now and my studio still isn't ready. I'm having a studio built um, next door actually and it's almost ready um, but I have to do this video in my kitchen and today is going to be about a pedal board rebuild. I have the Pod HD 500X on my pedal board and I've had it on here for about four or five years now. So it's rebuild time. I'm going to be replacing it with the Helix. How exciting is that? So uh, this is uh, this is a bit of a bit of a pedal board rebuild video. Why not? Hey, here we go. <laughs> So before we start, we have to make sure we have uh, everything prepared. So um, I've got my pedal board laid out down here. I've got a pump action screwdriver. It's all got different ends in there. Very good look, watch. Amazing. And I've got my gas soldering iron. Should I need to do any uh, soldering of cables or lengthening or shortening of things and bits and pieces? Um, yeah. Got my little toolbox over there. Might show you my little box in a minute. Let's get cracking. So that's it, got an empty board now. Um, yeah, this is the fun bit. This is where we start rebuilding. Now, one of the things I'm doing slightly different is I normally use pedal board tape um, or Velcro or some kind of sticky tapey Velcro thing. This time I'm going to be using these. I don't know how well this is gonna go. But these are little, what do you call them, little bracket plate things. And what I'm going to do is on the legs, on the legs, on the um, on the screws, uh, the, the feet on the bottom of the helix, I'm going to take those off and then screw these through. And then I'll hopefully be able to screw these to the board. And it just gives it a little bit more, well, it's a bit safer, isn't it? Because we've had a few instances where the uh, the pedal boards have come off in the uh, in the truck. I'm not going to um, dwell on that anymore. But we've had a few um, we've had a few di little disasters where we've opened the pedal boards and everything's gone and fallen out. But that's okay. We don't mind that. We don't mind that. That's what about being on the roads all about, isn't it? So here we go. Let's put it back together. <laughs> Even my cat wants to get in on this. Okay. Good. good. Okay. Can I carry on? Yeah. No. This is Eva. Glad you've met Eva. Let's carry on.
think it's safe to say that the brackets work pretty well on the Helix. That ain't going anywhere. This is a bit I hate. A bit where I've got to test it all. Or at least the power anyway. Fingers crossed. Yay! It powers up. Okay, so before I start cable tying, let me just tell you what's going on. I've gone for a really, really simple setup this time. Before I've had lots of different pedals. Um, in fact, I'm a big, big fan of the SP compressor. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. It's absolutely, it's fantastic. It's really, really good. And recently I've been introduced to the Thomas Blug, um, I think I said that right this time, uh, the Golden Brownie. Now that's an, it's a phenomenal, it's, an, it's a phenomenal, pheno it's a phenomenal little pedal. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, but what I'm doing, uh, probably once the studio's together, um, is I'm going to be putting a little mini pedal board together for when I do um, just little gigs with my amp. My amp at the moment, <laughs> my amp at the moment is rather smelly and doesn't work because it decided it was going to have a meltdown on a gig a few weeks ago. Um, so it's, it's at the repairers. I've not heard anything for over a week now, so that's a bit worrying, isn't it? Anyway, it's a little boogie uh, Studio 22. Um, I've not had it too long. I got it from Ben Crow at Crimson Guitars, and it's probably got about five years of sawdust in there so I'm hoping it's nothing uh, nothing too major but yeah I'm going to be doing a little pedal board build at some point um, and I'm going to use those pedals on it but for this board which will be my main board for well most things really I'm just going to be using the Helix I'm going to be using the Digitech Freakout which I have put in a loop and um, the reason I've done that and not put it at the front of the guitar is because um, if I'm using a Variax on a Variax cable, um, I can still use it. Uh, otherwise, it'll only work when I add um, something plugged in on jack. Uh, I've got a little uh, a Moore Baby tuner, and I like this tuner purely because I can see it. Um, now, the tuner on the Helix is—it's um, amazing. It's one of the—I think it's the best tuner on um, a multi-effects type unit. Um, it's brilliant, it really is, but sometimes when you're playing on stage um, and you, you might just hear something's a little bit out, one of the strings is a little bit out, it's nice to just maybe if you're, if you're in G for example and you're, one of the open strings is out in a G chord, you just, you know, you can just hit it and you just look down and it's running constantly, uh, or you could just flick that back, you don't have to wait for the tuner to come on, uh, and I've gone for the little Moore baby tuner purely because it's really bright um, it's nice blue and red thing uh, and that that works for me because uh, I need wear glasses but not on stage I'm not wearing them now so I hope I've wired this up properly back to it
And now for my favourite bit, the cable tying bit. Oh yeah, that works in my ears. That's fantastic, um, brilliant. So guys, if you wanna hear this pedal board, if you wanna know what it sounds like, what the Helix sounds like, um, you could check us out this weekend because we're at the Manson's uh, Guitar Show. That is uh, the 11th of November. I know I said February then, that's the 11th. <laughs> the 11th of November. It's the Manson's Guitar Show, and we are there with Line 6 and Yamaha. So if you are there, please, please, please come along and see us. Um, say hello, and uh, let, let us know what you think of the board. Hopefully it'll still be working by then. <laughs> uh, the studio should be up and running soon, I'm hoping, because my wife's getting awfully tired of me being on the kitchen table with all my um, pedals and cables and things like that. So hopefully we'll be in there soon. Oh, that'd be nice, won't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's been a little bit interesting for you. I hope, um, hope you like and subscribe as well. Thank you very much. Take care, guys. See you next time.